Hello and welcome to a small video prepared by the Department of Botany on International Ozone Layer Protection Day. September 16th is observed as Ozone Layer Protection Day. Ozone is a molecule composed of the oxygen atoms and it is present in a gaseous form in the atmosphere. Ozone layer acts as a shield protecting us from the solar radiation like UV rays. Due to some human activity, holes are created in the ozone layer. We must follow few things to protect our ozone layer. We must avoid consumption of CFC, that is chlorofluorocarbon, minimize the use of cars. We must purchase eco-friendly items in our daily life and minimize the use of air conditioners and must plant more trees. Now enjoy the video and do the needful to protect the ozone layer. Thank you. What is ozone? Ozone is a naturally occurring molecule. An ozone molecule is made up of three oxygen atoms. It has a chemical formula O3. Ozone is a highly reactive gas. It is both a natural and a man-made product. Where it is found, it occurs in Earth's upper atmosphere, the stratosphere, and lower atmosphere, the troposphere. Stratospheric ozone is formed naturally through the interaction of solar ultraviolet radiation with molecular oxygen. The ozone layer approximately spreads through 6 to 30 miles above the Earth's surface. Role of ozone Depending on where it is in the atmosphere, ozone affects life on Earth in either good or bad ways. It reduces the amount of harmful UV radiation reaching the Earth's surface and protects life on Earth by absorbing harmful ultraviolet B radiation from the Sun. Why is ultraviolet B radiation bad? Prolonged exposure to ultraviolet B radiation is linked to skin cancer, genetic damage and immune system suppression in human and animals and lower yielding agricultural crop. What is ozone hole? Chemicals containing chlorine and bromine atoms are released to the atmosphere through human activities. These chemicals combine with certain weather conditions to cause reactions in the ozone layer leading to ozone molecules being destroyed. Depletion of the ozone layer occurs globally. However, the severe depletion of the ozone layer over the Antarctic is often referred to as the ozone hole. Increased depletion has recently started occurring over the Arctic as well. How does ground level ozone form? Tropospheric or ground level ozone is not emitted directly into the air but is created by chemical reactions between oxides of nitrogen and volatile organic compounds. This happens when pollutants emitted by cars, power plants, industrial boilers, refineries, chemical plants and other sources chemically react in the presence of sunlight. Ozone is most likely to reach unhealthy levels on hot sunny days in urban environments but can still reach high levels during colder months. Ozone can also be transported long distances by wind so, even rural areas can experience high ozone levels. Ozone have a very harsh effect on the vegetations of the whole world. Exposure to ozone causes both visible and physiological damage to vegetation. Ozone causes considerable damage to plants around the world including agricultural crops and plants in natural ecosystem. Ozone damages plants by entering leaf openings called stomata and oxidizing plant tissue during respiration which reduces the annual yield of the crop plants. 